Good morning everyone, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm now sitting in the airport of Charleroi, Brussels and today we are going to Prague to the International Doll Festival like doll exhibition or something like this so I think it's going to be exciting It's actually the first time I'm going to this kind of event and this year I'm not really going to participate but just I uh, just want to see how is it going and then more probably the next time, the next year or the next doll exhibition I will be able to go for it with my own dolls but Now let's see, I told you it's 5 o'clock in the morning I haven't slept at all, I have worked till 10.30 and then I came home, packed my bag and here am I and uh, so we're leaving like about in an hour or something so I feel of course terribly tired but I'm also terribly excited and let's hope everything will be good and yeah, wish me luck! We are in Prague and the first thing I'm doing, I am eating. No, actually, I arrived a little bit too early. I was already like at 9 30 in the city, and the check in to my hotel starts just at 2 o'clock, I think, at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So I have still for sure 4 5 hours to do things, and I'm so hungry that I immediately ended up at McDonald's having breakfast. So I have here some eggs. This I just don't know what it is. I'm already sending pictures to, to my husband to ask what it is, but he also doesn't know. So let's so let's get some energy and continue our trip. And finally, 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 we are going to the doll exhibition. As you can understand, it's already not three and not even four o'clock. It's already good six o'clock. It's getting dark, and so because I just fell asleep. <laughs> I checked in my hotel like about 2 o'clock in the afternoon it was and then I decided oh I still have a sure an hour or an hour and a half I still can take a rest so now you can see it's already dark at 6 o'clock and I still have 2 hours to see everything today but anyway if there is if I cannot do everything today I still have tomorrow day and after tomorrow on Sunday it also still will be open so there is no tragedy sleeping is also important and you know when you are like 18 or 20 or even 25 years old it's, there's no problem absolutely about not sleeping the whole night long but if you are already a little bit older than this and you don't sleep the whole night and you don't eat good and you're traveling all the time, all the time. you are really getting tired and you're thinking just about oh, where I can take some nap or something so nothing to do to stay in a good condition to stay in a good physical and emotional condition is probably more important and we're losing nothing so let's see what and we here we are this is a place where everything is going on so here you can see what is it all about? And let's go in. It's like also some kind of shopping mall. Oh, look, here's already Christmas. And I guess it's gonna be somewhere over there because there you see the publicity of the thing. So let's go up. So and here we are and let's see what's going on. So this year the topic of the exhibition is Mozart time. So and this you can see in this collection you see everything so a little bit like Baroque style that is of course it's extremely mustard but to be honest I'm 
not a fan of old-fashioned things. You will see... I like everything that is like... Come on, people, we live in 21st century. What the fuck are we doing about this Mozart? Wow, look, look, look at these ones. Look at these ones. These ones are really cool. Look, these dolls are indeed my cup of tea because this is something with the character and not from 17th century or from 18th century. This is definitely, this is my thing. This is an artist from Russia. And I should look it up because look, it's just really, really, really good. And like some, some works are just sold. The exhibition is open like for a couple of hours, but it's just sold already. Yeah, I'm not actually I'm not surprised because to me it also looks very very good. Yeah, this couple looks also really cool. And this one is whoa. Look at this. I like this black and grey colors and her blonde she bleached hair and her face. Yeah, this one is indeed my cup of tea. No. Oh, there is something weird. It's again from some Mozart time. Oh, but the, the rabbit is cute. The rabbit I like. The doll itself is not my cup of tea, but but the details. I really love the details. Look at this tiny cat. <laughs> this one is cool, and the lamp is his in his hand. Oh, and here look also rabbit with some croissants. Oh, and look, look at this one, super cute. I just don't like this green thing in the middle. And all the rest is, all the rest I like. Let's go further. Oh, and here is again some Mozart story. I don't know, do I have some Mozart fans here on my, on my channel? Oh, these ones are... These ones are pretty cool and these ones are look like really professionally sculpted because you know what is the problem? I see quite often that there are some dolls look like very pretty but to me, like, not all of the artists really have, like, education to do this. Like, you can see that it's sometimes a little bit, like, disproportional or some strange. Sometimes it looks cute, but sometimes it's like, oh, come on, it just takes up anatomy to see what's going on. And yeah, I don't know. It's, of course, the way to make something a little bit strange, a little bit weird and like breaking all the proportions but I don't know and look these ones I really like I like the idea of putting them in these frames and I also like this kind of handmade lace this is also s definitely something I like I like just the idea to put in these dolls in frames and then then you can at least immediately understand what you can do with these dolls yeah you can hand them on the wall <laughs> Oh, and here also such a cute brushes, look. <laughs> yeah, like, like, this is also something, something for me. And here, tiny doll brushes, it all looks very cute. This I like. And so, let's go for a look at these ladies. And look at these ladies, especially like this one. <laughs> So 
looks like some yeah, celebrity star. Looks very pretty. Oh, and by the way, where are these people with cologne phobias on my channel? All these people that were so much insulted that I have repainted some strange tiny BGD into cologne. Look at this. Look at this. Clones. 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 And here already such a fabric dolls. I know I started like years ago making such a fabric dolls. And I don't know, for me they're always a little bit less. And look at this person, has he ever even learned how to draw a face? Oh, come on, I think that many of you when they're making their first repaint can do it as good. Oh, and here again, such a big ones. Little angels for Christmas. Christmas is coming. Oh, I like, I like this one. Also, look at these prices. And who was complaining about my hundred euro for the pan? <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Uh, look, this is an artist who has made the band dolls. Look, look, look. <laughs> Here are teddy bears because this is an exhibition of handmade dolls and also teddy bears as well. So here we can see all kinds of different decoration. Oh, and again for clone lovers. Oh, where are my clone lovers? That's by the way quite original look. I like these teddy bears. Yeah. Oh look, and I like this reindeer also. <laughs> yeah, this is quite. I think it's quite pretty. Yeah, this one, this one I like. It's quite interesting. For me. It's, it's interesting to me. Here also such a serious lady. She reminds me of my colleague at work, Nadine. <laughs> Such a trio in the boats. <laughs> Make it pretty. <laughs> oh, and these group, these dolls, I also really love. And they look, look, this is also something. My style of dolls. And here is the whole mm. set of gingers. Look how cute they are, and it's made, it's made with wool. It's not porcelain or some paper clay. It's just made with wool. You know, it's like, it's like wow. And look at all these details, also at all these accessories, and look at these pumpkins. Yeah, I think it's a cool technique. This I would, will never learn myself. That's why it's very interesting to see. I like these ones, look at this one. This is also something for me, it's something to be here, this is what I like. And look at this too. How cool they are. And their BJD look, you can see. They have their joints. And here are the big dolls as well. Oh yeah, this this one I like. Oh, and this again, some pretty little bit Barbie style dolls. They have very pretty faces, of course, and the style, and the shoes, and the accessories. Oh, and it's again, it's again for my clone lovers. Look, clone lovers. Don't be scared, they're not biting, they're just dolls. Oh, I love this cat, look at this cat. Ah. No way, I just, just probably love everything cat related, that's it. Oh yeah, and this is really something just for me. So don't be surprised if my next videos I will try to make something like this. Oh yeah, creepy dolls. Look how cool they are. Look, look, look how cool they are. 
Oh yeah, this is something. This is something cool. This one, of course, it's a special genre of also these creepy teddy bears, but yeah, they're cool. I'm nothing against them. Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is also something that's exactly for me. Yeah, these ones are indeed something very, very cool and they're BJD. They're not these like useless static dolls. And look how cool they are. Yeah, this I definitely like. And look at these shoes. This is obviously the same ones like I'm using for my dolls, but I'm just using the smaller and size. Look at here, and horses dolls. It's also very original, I like. Look, here are the, the rabbits, and here is the dollhouse. Yeah, this kind of stuff I also like. This is like, oh, mostly something original. This And look, they're all sold. I'm not, not surprised because they're really cool. And now we're coming to the next room. And here I see immediately two such a cool mouses. Or who is this? I don't know. Oh, this one is of course very pretty and very mustard. Yeah, but I will tell my opinion later, okay? We'll talk about it in another place a little bit later when nobody's listening. <laughs> and here is again something Mozart expired. I don't know, I'm scared of people who are getting inspired by Mozart. All these ones, look, they're almost as big as their maker. Look how cool they are. Look, makers are sitting behind them and they're approximately the same size like the doll. But yeah, this is, this is cool. Oh yeah, this is again something for me. So, you know, I'm making myself some sweet monster hair paints, but <laughs> I'm actually some grunge punk. I like all this creepy and, and here stuff. the whole section of real original Japanese BJD dolls. And I think it's also quite, oh my god, what is going on with her shoulders? Ah. This is what I told about, uh, like, anatomy problems. This one is pretty, but I think she should go to the doctor. Look how weird those are. Blah, blah, blah. Creepy. I think like BGD is good, but it shouldn't be too much BGD. This is too much BGD. Oh, this is again somebody for me. Somebody has died two weeks ago. This is this is also my style stuff. And oh, and this sad one is also something what I like. This one, so oh, yeah, this this is cute. This is extremely cute. I really love her face. Oh, look at this! And look at her sisters. Oh. 
They're just gorgeous. And this one's a serious one. Now we're going to the second. Oh, here's Madame Monroe. And then there's the Capri from the Netherlands. And these ones are also pretty. They're already sold. Hey. <laughs> so here we have Italian artists, all these last three artists are from Italy. Look how pretty and how pretty these fabrics are. And these dolls are pretty small, they're probably even smaller than Monster High, so it's a really very, very detailed work. And look also at this furniture. Yeah. Oh, there's such, such a delicate blondes. Look at this. She's just completely very pretty. Oh, and here you can see the Instagram of the artist making some promotion. Thank you very much. Yep, I think it's pretty. Oh, this one I love a lot. And this is a fool who is dreaming to become a king. Keep dreaming. This is something that I like. Look at this. This is really cool, I think. And look at this monster. Yeah. You hope to do that. <coughs> Very cool, all these creatures from Alice in Wonderland and from some other stories. And here we have. BJD doll, so let's take a look because I'm really hoping and planning one day still to make something like this. Mm. Oh, look, this, this BJD doll is already better than the previous one, so... Like this one is, to me, look really, really, really great already. So I would say the best one so far that I've seen. Here and this is something that I would probably like make myself. I like the style, I like how it's technically made. I like the clothes pieces, like how the tail is. And I like that they're contemporary and not Mozart inspired. They're those from 2017 and they belong to 2017. And it like clicks to something. It's cool. and Creepy animals, and by the way, look how immediately how better it immediately looks when there is coming some extra light to your dolls. When they're not just staying with their nature lighting, but when they're having some extra light that will give a little bit shadows, add a little bit drama to the composition. This is also interesting to, to see for my like future performances or something. Oh, look at these ones! They're cute. They're cute. These ones are cute. Look at them. Seems when you're choosing between the dolls inspired by Mozart and cute animals, I am I vote for, for cute animals. <laughs> oh wow, this is again something very cool. This I like. Look at these flowers. This is I know I like more original things. I don't like when they take just some costume from 300 years ago and just repeating it in in some smaller size uh, to me there is not so much art and not so much oh here is something weird oh well i can make just something around and and have fun with this and stay in the doll exhibition and there's the doll houses doll houses look at that oh my god i like the idea to use the old tvs for 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 i like the idea to using the old tvs for demonstrating your dolls. I think it's really cool. 
This is, you know, in all this, you know, with all, in all this doll making situation, it's very difficult sometimes to see the difference between is it art or craft. Because sometimes you can see just skilled and masters and maybe experienced artist who is just doing, I don't know, just doing what 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 she can do, and that's it. And there is not much. There, there are many artists that are not really inventing anything. And this thing, I can definitely say, this is art. Look, I like the presentation, I like the realization, I like the, the whole exposition of the thing. And they're not Mozart inspired and I'm very happy about it. <laughs> this is a YouTube film. <laughs> Look how cool it is, this tiny house. And this is what I'm talking about. Between the difference, about the difference between our art and craft. There is a difference. <laughs> Look at this one with its legs. Very cool, very, very, very cool. And this one, strange with big eyes. But still, it's very mustard, with a lot, made with a lot of fantasy. And this is very cool. And these are articulated paper dolls, so it's also a completely different look. And here, you can make your own Franz Kafka doll. <laughs> Franz Kafka is also better than Mozart, definitely. Ah, look at these dudes, look at these dudes. They're so fluffy, so creepy, but cool. Yeah, these dudes are also like, there's something turning. Let's come to take a look. What is turning? Ah. Ah. Yeah, it's a, also wooden dolls. Oh, this is this is pretty impressive to me. It's for sure very professional made, and I like the idea and the realization of the doll. And I like this detail. Look in the middle of his stomach. This is a tiny girl. Wow, there is a monster, monster, look at him. Ah, this is very cool. This creepy one I like. You see, I like all, all the creepy stuff. So, I think I've seen everything for today. And tomorrow I will probably still come back because I still want a little bit of so my impressions in my head take another look at these pictures that I made and at this video that I'm filming now and then probably tomorrow I after the workshop because tomorrow I'm following the workshop uh, so after the workshop I will probably come again and take another round and to see uh, maybe I will get some to see something new that I haven't seen today yet because there are indeed lots of doll artists lots of dolls there are like two floors of it and maybe I have missed something to some dollars is maybe interesting to to talk sometimes to share some experiences but for today I think it's already enough it's almost eight o'clock and I think I'm going to eat something see you so it was my first day in Prague and at this moment in the evening in my room I'm going to finish this video and now I hope I will be able to make it, to cut it and to post it online tomorrow because I really cannot wait to hear your feedback, to hear what you think about it because it's the first time I'm making this kind of videos, such a film in my trip, especially when it's doll related on my, not just on my YouTube channel, for the first time in my life, I can say it honestly. So, please watch my video like my video, subscribe my channel, you know it all, and I really, really, really hope that you will like it. And 
see you in my next video because tomorrow I'm going to follow a very special workshop. Stay with me.